Latissima. Latissima. <laughs> what, what new toy you got here, Gail? What new toy I got? It's a Latissimo from uh, uh, DeLonghi. Okay. And this is a new model. Uh, brand new, the 520. Okay. It's got a little tank back here. Well, let's talk about what this First off, these are capsule based machines. Uh huh. You take these little capsules and you put one. Get in there. <laughs> you put it in here. Okay. Push this down. It, it punctures, punctures holes in the capsule in the top and the bottom and brews right through it. And then when you lift this, it goes down into a, well, we could call it a dregs box. An ejection chamber. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that's the passenger seat in my car. Exactly. <laughs> so, this one also does milk. Okay. Automatically. Um, up here you can see that if you turn the dial this way, it's more foam. And as you go more this way, it's less foam, more steam milk. Okay. So you can program two buttons on the milk side. And then two buttons on the coffee side. Cool. So you can make a long go or shots or whatever you want to make. And, and the, the capsules are Nespresso, so you get them from Nespresso. Yeah, you have to, yeah, you get this, uh, oh, like a book that has all the stuff in it for what you do when you first get it. This is how to run your machine. And then this over here shows you that you call up Nespresso and you register. I think this is the one. For their club. You register for their club. Yeah, and assistance and the whole thing. See, so placing your first order. Yeah. And they ship um, within, I think it's two day delivery. Nice. The last I knew. Yeah. Okay. And it was a flat rate. Uh, yeah, two business days by post, six ninety five. And it doesn't matter how much you order. That's nice. And they come in these sleeves. Let me show a sleeve. Like this. Okay. So there's a ten in a sleeve. As I recall. And, and so, so the, the sort of the regular, regular shot and the long go, yep. they have different, different capsules kind of designed for different exactly. preparations. Exactly. They have well, we have a piece of paper that you should have. Jeez, we just crawled away. Yeah, yeah, you, you and I just had it in the <laughs> <laughs> it, it, anyway, it's a little bit like this where it shows you what coffee is, the intensity of it, and what it's good for. Yes. Like these are uh, these are uh, single origins. This is for a long go, decaf. Espresso. And so and some of these are going to be uh, stronger, so you could yep. make, make them with milk and still have a good cup. Other yep. ones you might not. Like this one over you here. Know. Intensity. Ristretto. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, okay, cool. cool. So. And you can program all this and trip tray. Oh, you can pull this out for like a shorter cup. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a shot, or you can use a taller cup under here. Okay. Nice. Like that. And, and that trip tray comes some. out. This comes out, yeah. So you can clean it? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And then the, the old ejection box just above it. Get out of the way. Yeah. But this you were noticing this. Yeah. What I noticed was I, I, brewed a, I stuck one of these paper cups under there and brewed into it. And I waited for it to do, you know, drip, 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 drip. Mm -hmm. And then I took it away. It still kept dripping. This does not come off. You just wipe this with a rag. So. Up or down. Yeah, exactly. And then we have our little dude down here. Yes. This is for descaling. The descaling pipe. I wish all machines came with a descaling pipe, Gail. <laughs> okay, Kat. So that goes right up in there like that. And according to like the directions, it will prompt you. This guy will turn orange, and I think that that's the only time you can actually descale it is when, because then it will go into its programming or its descale program. Okay. Yep. So, you know, the sun was shining on this a second ago, and it was kind of cool. Can you see the blue on that little door? Yeah. Well, that's the color. You can of kind of look at. Yeah. yeah. See, when you, you can get this see. into the sun. No, it's not going to happen. This is blue. It's yeah. It's really rich royal blue. Midnight. Midnight blue. But you can kind of see it on there. And um, when we met with our dude from Delonghi last week, he was saying that this guy has like some of the newest functionality as far as their thermal block. So a lot hotter coffees. It was very hot. And, and steam milk. I found so. it to be hot. And I didn't check, check just the milk. Maybe I'll check that. But the, the shot was hot. Shall we pause and we could grab a thermometer and then we'll do uh, some testing? Sure, Kat. Thanks, Gail. Just for you. I'll make it just for you. Just like you like it. <laughs> Without milk, you mean? <laughs> Soy. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. Okay, these are programmable for the amount of milk and for the amount of uh, shot volume that are going to come out on this side. And you can program these as well for the shot volume. But this is the milk side. So, put a capsule in here. Put a cup under here. And you hold it down, it's going to start blinking. Then it's going to go into its mode. And then you just 
keep holding it until you're... You hold it until you get what's the volume of milk that you want. Okay. And then you let go. And then you hit it again for the shot. And then you program the shot. There you go. That's just as a matter of curiosity, see how warm this drink is. Is this thing in the hole pattern? Yeah, it's in the hole pattern. There we go. Hmm. Well, that's kind of great. Very great. Take the hold off. Let's, Let's just, just keep, keep pushing, pushing buttons. buttons. <laughs> <laughs> there okay. We go. Of course, the cup was a little cold, too. Yeah. But I found the coffee to be plenty hot. Hmm. 153, the whole drink is. Let's see what it tastes like. It's plenty hot for me. Here, I mean, that's hot coffee. I wonder if this thermostat thermometer is working right. Yeah. Is that hot to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's nice. nice. So. Do you want to, can we pause and just do a, um, a milk test, a milk temperature test as it's coming out since we didn't do yeah. that? Okay. Yeah, let me rinse this cup out. See uh, what the foam can you take it up to the to the scale? I can. But then that's less fun. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a little cooler. You think it'd be hotter? I think it'd be hotter with less foam, right? I don't know. It depends. It goes through faster when it's not so much. Oh. 149, 151, 170. So it's about 170 or so. Here, what are you doing? That's the old puck in there. That's gonna take <laughs> That one's for you, Gail. So around 180 or so. What do you think about it, Gail? What do you think about it, Gail? I think it's fine. Yeah. It seemed to do okay foam. I mean, it's not fantabulous foam, but it's good. I mean, it's auto froth foam. What are you going to do? Exactly. Exactly. No, I think it's fine. I mean, you know what? These things are convenience. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, there's just no two ways about it. Exactly. This is, this is built for convenience and no muss, no fuss. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not, not going to be the best latte you've ever had. No. But it's it going to job done. But it's not the worst either. Mm -mm. I've had lattes out. Yeah, <laughs> some pretty bad coffee out in my day. <laughs> At least this will be like standardly okay. I won't mention which airport it was. <laughs> okay, all right. So that is the um, Lechissima by a DeLonghi Nespresso Hybrid. Want to do a shot? No. Okay. Thanks, Gail. Right. See ya. Lechissima. Lechissima. <laughs> <laughs> What's new toy you got here, Gail? What new toy I got? It's a Latissimo from uh, uh, DeLonghi. Okay. This is a new model. Uh, brand new, the 520. Okay. It's got a little check back here. Well, let's, well, let's talk, talk about, about what this. this. First off, these are capsule-based machines. Uh-huh. You take these little capsules and you put one... Get in there. <laughs> you put it in here. Okay. Push this down. It punctures holes in the capsule in the top and the bottom and brews right through it. And then when you lift this, it goes down into a, well, we could call it a dregs box. An ejection chamber. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that's, 